Hey everybody, what's going on? NGS back again for a NGS Let's Play. We're gonna try this Let's Play out one more time because as you guys know, earlier in the year I tried to do a Let's Play of one of my more favorite games from last year, The Witcher 2, but things didn't work out so well because I got too engrossed in playing the game than actually recording and doing commentary over it, so I kind of scrapped that before it even begun, as they say. So, I picked up a game recently, well, by recently, I mean in the past 24 hours. You're looking at it right now. The Jack and Daxter HD Collection for the PlayStation 3. What other platform would it be on? This collection brings together all three of the Jack games developed by Naughty Dog and the PlayStation 2 into one package with trophies in HD for a pretty good price. I picked it up on Amazon for 20 bucks. So, for those who have been interested in replaying the games or just getting into the series for the first time, I'd recommend checking it out on Amazon.com. Now, for further ado, let's dive right into the first game of the series, Jack and Daxter, The Precursor Legacy. Now, mind you, this is an NGS Let's Play. It's not something that is supposed to be extremely professional, like, oh man, I'm going to get everything right the first time. It's going to be very off the cuff. It's going to be very raw. Don't expect any professional level, you know, non-screw-ups, those type of things. Because it's just me playing, sitting back, having fun for your enjoyment. And um, <clears throat> it's been over 10 years since I've played uh, the Precursor Legacy. So I'm going to definitely... It, it's it's going to feel like a brand new game for the most part, I guess. And here we got Daxter. Ah, oh, man, I already bring back memories, and we're not even two minutes in. Jack and Daxter. The Precursor Legacy. Press start. New game, load game options. Let me check out the options. That's not really something I do in too many games. Uh, yeah, it's pretty much fine. One thing I really loved about the Jack games, you could play them in other languages, especially Japanese, especially uh, when I was younger, and I was really getting into anime, I found that option, and I'm like, ooh, it's pretty. So, yeah, we don't really need to fool around with options. None of that jazz. So, new game. There's no saved data. Would you like to create one? Of course I would. If we want to continue the Let's Play, we have to. And now we play the... Oh, okay, looks like we're not going to play the waiting game. Save file right there. And now we play the waiting game. You see, I did get to say it, after all. Yuck, yuck, yuck. I have spent my life searching for the answers that my father and my father's fathers failed to find. Who were the precursors? Why oh, I was going to say, how many licks does it take to get to the center of a Tootsie Pop? How did they harness Eco, the life energy of the world? What was their purpose? And why did they vanish? I have asked the plants, but they do not remember. The plants have asked the rocks. But the rocks do not recall. Even the rocks do not recall. Ask an elephant, they never forget. The bone in my body tells me that the answers rest on the shoulders of a young boy. Look at this hipster. Oblivious to his destiny, uninterested in the search for truth. Oh yeah, that's right, Daxter was... Oh well, you're about to find out. <laughs> and why would he want to listen to old Samus the Sage anyway? I'm only the master of Green Eco. One of the wisest men on the planet. <laughs> yeah, well, no one cares about wisdom and age so anymore. The answer begins not with careful research. It's all about that nitty gritty, thinking. all about that mature, Today, curse words, and all that jazz. Mysteries. It begins with but a small act of disobedience. Hey, uh, Jack, old green stuff told us not to come here. I'm sorry, but I just can't get used to seeing Daxter like that. <laughs> I'm so used to little furry Otzel. It's like less than a foot tall. Continue your search for artifacts and eco. Ah, this guy. <laughs> I love how half of them aren't even looking at it. They're like, what the? What the? Strays from the village. We will attack it in due time. Oh my God! Evil.
What are we doing here anyway, Jack? This place gives me the creeps. Huh? Oh, stupid precursor junk. Eek! What is that dark ooze? It sure don't look friendly. <gasps> the sage yaps on about the precursors that built this place all the time. Where did they go? Why did they build this crud? Now, I like precursor orbs and power cells as much as the next guy. Ooh, me, foreshadowing. Wow! How did you do that? That's about the extent of vocal uh, vocals you're going to get from Jack in this game. Throw the precursor at the gremlin, they said. It'll be fun, they said. Oh, there we go. Man, that stung. <laughs> I told you we shouldn't have come here, and you listened. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, okay. I'm fine. I'm fine. Oh, I gotta have a tail. Do you two want? We, we, we was, they was, I, I was. Don't tell me. I was a scared. In my wisdom, the two of you went mucking around in the only place that I told you not to go, Misty Island. That's right. And then. And Daxter, you finally took a much-needed bath, but in a bathtub filled with dark eco. Look, old man, are you gonna keep? You know they're acting you pretty damn nonchalant for a situation like you, this. Because, in my professional opinion, the change is an improvement. And besides, I couldn't help you if I wanted to. What? There's only one person who has studied Dark Eco long enough to have a chance at returning you to your previous form. Carl Acheron, the sage. But he lives far to the north. Far, far to the north. Hmm. Nobody has My memories of this game are starting to return. Why do I have a feeling that that was that guy we saw in the beginning? Yeah, well, we'll see throughout this Let's Play. Fit to turn their ends on for quite a while. Hmm. The only other way north is by foot through the fire canyon, but its volcanic soil is hot enough to melt precursor metal. You can't just walk through it. But you could fly over it if you had a zoomer equipped with a heat. Shield. <laughs> yeah. Be working on such a thing at this <clears throat> Neo going through puberty kind of had something for that girl. <clears throat> Isn't that right, Daddy? Yes, Kira, that might work. But where are a boy and a half going to get <laughs> and a half. power cells? From the villagers. Most of them have a power cell or two stashed away somewhere. And even if they aren't willing to just give them away, greasing their palms with a few precursor orbs should do the trick. Oh, we're precursor orbs? I was thinking of something else. More of them out in the wilds, just waiting for some brave adventurer to find. Well, we've got the Conveniently placed. At least. Brave adventurer? You two couldn't find your way out of the village without training. Before you do anything else, you better go through the warp gate and get some practice on Geyser Rock. Eh, uh, we won't find any more of that dark gooey eco stuff, will we? Cause I'd hate to fall in again and turn into you! Get in there! Before A mystical sage with a vast amount of wisdom and power? Ooh. Here we go, some actual gameplay. One of the things that I greatly enjoyed, I think, about uh, Jack and Daxter back in the day was how crisp the visuals were. And I believe this was, it wasn't a PlayStation 2 launch title, it came out a year afterwards. And uh, I, I don't know, I was just blown away at how great it looked. I guess this, this game was the mind-blowing effect to me as uh, Metal Gear Solid 2 was to other people. Alright. Ah, oh, man. Double power ownage. I don't know what I just said, but this is a power cell, the most important precursor artifact you can find. You need to collect twenty of these so I can power the heat shield for your A grab zoomer. Ah, the zoomer! Damn it! The more I play this game, the more memories return. Like Kingdom Hearts over here, man. Woo! 
Yo, seriously, real talk. There we go. Go, Daxter. Go, Daxter. Go, Daxter. Oh, oh. When the falling icon appears, continue. Yes, yes, yes. Sometimes you'll want to hit things with a greater force. There we go. To break Ooh. one of these boxes, you should jump in the air and then dive down onto it, hands first. Hey, you found one of my scout ones. I sent seven of them to each area to look for Huh, myself, I wonder. The workers must have captured them all. They must have captured them all and they're conveniently jumping around in these boxes for me to collect. <laughs> oh, man. Ooh, another one. I'm sexy and I know it. Who would have thought? Oh, uh, Eco! And not the Team Eco game. <laughs> Precursor artifacts. Yes, yes. I don't even know why the hell I'm beating the crap out of these dummies. We collect a bunch of them and these things to check. Ah, yeah! I was about to jump down there, but no, 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 oh shit, didn't get hit, nice, preserved my health, that's a good thing, ground pounded you, funk, did I just say funk, I just did, this is a precursor door, it can only be opened by approaching the door while channeling blue ego through your body, channel that blue ego, more like channel that chakra. Whoa, I'm such a Naruto-tard. Oh, man. The days of pop-up text to explain things. Where are you? Maximum eco. Let's do this. Look at that body. I work out! Am I seriously gonna be quoting LMFAO? And I got a trophy! Yay! First trophy of the collection. Good work. The blue eco caused the door to open. There's another one over there. You can breathe energy into all kinds of precursor artifacts that have lain dormant for years. Oops. Hmm, it's camera. I forgot how awkward it was at first. Ah, again. Green balls of energy on the ground are a type of eco. Pick up 50 small green ecos or one big green one to increase your health. I wonder what people, like when people started associating uh, green with health. I wonder. Hmm. If anyone knows, uh, comment down below. I'd be really interested to see. I kind of have a suspicion why, but uh, it's probably wrong. You can jump once, then jump again in the air to reach even higher ledges. Ooh. Ooh. Definitely works out. Activate power pod. Ah! That was beautiful. Right, well, is there anything else I have to do here? I don't think so. Canvas the area one more time. Yeah, let's see. Hmm. Where should I go, guys? Green Sage's Hut? Or Green Sage's Hut? I'll go to the third one. <laughs> Good training, boys. But that's nothing compared to the challenges that lie ahead. 
in the outside world. We got the moves, eh, Jack? We'd love to stay in chat, Big Green, but we're uh, Man. to get on with our adventures. Look at them mouth animations. Adventure away then. Half the budget of a game went into Daxter's mouth flaps. <laughs> My darn green eco collectors are clogged up again. Head out to the far side of the goddamn darn green eco. Follow the lamps. They'll take you right there. Oh, I don't know if I'll be able to follow those guys. Get out of here! I bet that scene would have gone different in Samuel Jackson was voicing Samos. I'm tired of these freaking. Okay, I'll probably have to think of something that he would say to Jack and Daxter. But let's get out of here. Awesome sis. Do 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 do. Hey, it's Kira. I think that's what her name was. Hey, baby. What do you say you and I go cruising on this A grab zoomer? One word: bestiality. Rule number one. I don't date animals. Ooh, all right. Ah, uh, you don't know what you're missing. <laughs> yeah, all two inches of it. Listen, if you need something to keep you busy, my father always talked about an ancient precursor pipeline hidden deep underground. Some of these pipes end in vents from which eco flows freely, and some have been capped off so that the eco is sealed back. There eco must be a way conservation. To turn the on. I traced part of the pipeline back to the Forbidden Temple. Maybe you should look there for some type of switch. Hmm. Maybe I should. Oh, man. I remember when I first got the game, for like the first 10 minutes, I was like, how do I write it? How do I write it? And then I realized, oh, she's working on it, so I can't. Ya derp derp. Sandover Village. Roll. I swear to God, if they stop me one more time for something, I swear. All right, let's talk to this old dude. Well, My sister, when we were, uh, when she, she usually watched me play video games when I was younger. She thought that uh, this guy was either my uncle or my grandfather. Short on the old precursor orbs. I would have pledged my word that I had. Sounds like freaking Tim Curry, <laughs> Nigel. Little annoying, miserably ugly one might have just pilfered them as a sort of a spot of fun. Anyway, uh, would you be kind enough to loan your dear old uncle 90 precursor orbs? So he really was his uncle? Oh shit, I thought that was just the urban legend. Loan him what? What do you want now, old man? I don't know. Uh, got some stuff here. Yeah, the HD transfer on this is definitely uh, great. Outside of the cutscenes, the game looks fantastic. Alright, let's see who's in here. Hey! Little furry dude! Dude! Oh, I thought for a moment you were my muse. Ah, oh, the muse. What? Haven't you ever seen a muse before? It's a little glowing squirrel about your size, full of spunk, and crazy as a lark. Oh, I get it. Like a sidekick. <laughs> as a matter of fact, if only Jack could talk. Muse, I just can't sculpt. But with her around, I see beauty in everything, you know? That's, That's kind of creepy. Chisel my way out of a box. Oh, it's similar to uh, Michael Bay. He can't direct his way out of a paper box. It's worth a parcel if you bring her back to me. Wait a minute. We are not going back to Misty Island. Are we? I think so. It's for the mission, man. It's for the greater good. All right, damn, Jack. Right, let's see what happens if I jump off here. Zoink. Hey! It looks like scout flies are always in red boxes. Ho oh, ho! What tipped you off? The last freaking seven times we destroyed them. Pray for mercy. Wagwan, brother. 
should probably be doing something with this eco, but no. Hiya. Good job. Oh, that doesn't look too good. What, you just trying to start shit? Those all metal boxes are thicker than a yak skunk. But there must be something that can bust them open. Ah, I think it was something to do with the uh Who the hell? Oh yeah, it's overseas. That's why they're throwing it at us. Hey! That pelican just snagged a power cell! Let's go kick some big bird butt! Hell yeah! I'm down for that. Uh oh. That was awesome. Save it to that virtual memory card. Ow, like seriously. Oh no, it's the gremlin's puppy. Or it's a gremlin puppy. I hear one of those uh, flying knees. Probably start collecting more of these. Get some health. There we go. Gotta uncap all of these if I remember correctly. Congratulations are in order, Samos. <laughs> what you trying to say? Hmm. Damn, this is a pretty damn big beach. Okay. That's doing its thing. So... I thought we could climb this. Alright, well, let's get back to the beach. Oh, more Ekans. Hey, seagulls! Mine, 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 mine. Yep, hidden right here. Can't be the same one that was tormenting me like a couple minutes ago, could it? I don't know, maybe. <laughs> Daxter, you and the frickin' seagulls. Domo Oregato, Mr. Roboto. Woo! Punch those poles up from below. Ah, and then we gotta go back up there and jump on them. I see. Okay. Oh, don't move. There we go, so it's three apiece. Alright, and I believe this is where we are going to end part one.